Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add a select list to a web page um, and then how to use PHP to uh, check which options have been selected in a select list. So a select list looks like this where you have a box with different items in a list and you can select either one of those items or you could um, click down and hold to the mouse to select more items or hold down shift um, to select a heap of items at once or command or control to select items individually. Okay, so that's what a select list looks like. Um, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to create a select list here in a page called uh, or a file called form.php and then we're going to have another file here which will process the form data called actionhandler.php. So let's get started with creating the form. I have in this form.php file, I have the HTML tag, the head section, um, the body section, and then I've closed off the HTML tag. In the body section, I'm going to add a form using the form tag. And action will be action handler.php. And the method used is host. Okay, so. That's the first form tag, then we'll just close off the form tag. And inside there, we could add a question. So in my form, I've got the example question of which country would you like to visit? Or which countries would you like to visit? Okay, because we can select more than one option. And then what we do is add the select element, select form element. And because um, I, if with my question I'm asking which countries would you like to visit, I want the user to be able to select from more than one option. So I can add multiple, all right? So you can add multiple if you want the user to be able to select more than one answer. And then I'm going to give this a name of countries array. So countries, open square bracket, close square bracket. And then we'll just, um, Make sure that everything fits in nicely. We'll say style equals width. Um, and for this one, I'm gonna make it 100 pixels. Okay, and then we can just close off that tag there. All right, um, so then we need the closing select tag there. Inside the two select tags, we can add options. So we use the option tag. And the first one, I'll make front. And then the text that actually shows in that uh, option. So this is the value, and this is the text that you'll see in the select list. Okay, just copy and paste that. Add a few more options, and then just change the value and the text on each of those. So I might add Brazil. Um, I think I had India. And Japan. Okay, and we'll leave it at that. All right, last thing we need to add after the um, select um, tag there, so close off the select tag there. Now what we need to do is add a submit button. So I might put this in a paragraph, so it's um, there's a space, there's a new line, um, or we could use the break tag. And I'll say input type equals submit, and then value could be something like send or post or we'll just make it submit uh, and then close off the paragraph and the import tag okay so that's it all right so because we've got action as action handler .php and method as post this action handler .php file is now going to process the form data so um, I've saved the form .php file this is what it looks like now okay now I could go to actionhandler.php and start adding code here. First thing I'm going to do is check that um, countries, all right? So remember we've used um, name here, for, for the um, select list we've used name countries, it's a, an array. So 
we're going to have to check that an item um, or something in there has been set, so that at least one option's been checked. So we can say if is set dollar sign underscore post, and then inside there the name of that. Um, it's an array, so countries. So you can say if is set dollar sign underscore post. We can say countries, make a new variable here, dollar sign countries equals dollar sign underscore post uh, countries. And then echo, you selected the following countries. So we'll just add a break tag there. So if you've gone through the tutorial on checkboxes, this is very much the same as when we used checkboxes. Very similar. Then we can add a for each loop. Countries as key and value, just like that. Echo, dollar sign, uh, actually we'll put this inside quotation marks. So echo, sign, echo, dollar sign, value, and then break. So each value will be on a new line. All right, and that's it for the if statement. And we'll add an else statement. Oops. So else echo, you must select at least one country. Okay, and that's it. So basically what's happening here is we're checking the countries array, checking that it's set. So a value has been set. Then we're making a variable which is equal to um, post countries. So it's going to get the data from that form. It's going to say, you selected the following countries, and then it's going to go through that array. All right, okay, so remember that countries is an array. It's going to go through that array, and each item in the array will be displayed on a new line, just the value of that item. Okay, so that's saved. I'll go back to Chrome, and I'll just refresh this page. Now, first thing, I'm going to select nothing and submit and it says you must select at least one country. Then I'm going to select one country, and submit, and it says you selected the following countries, Brazil. And now I'm going to hold down Command and select three countries and submit. And there we go, we've got three countries, each on a separate line. So that is how to use a select list. Um, so how to add a select list to a form, a HTML form and how to use PHP to grab the data from that select list. Thanks for watching.